Minnesota Wild hosting the Pittsburgh Penguins in the Wild of minus 115. On the money line, the Penguins are minus 105. The over-under is 6.5 goals. The Penguins getting a goal and a half are minus 240. The Wild laying a goal and a half are plus 200. My casino has them at something different than what you see there. These lines are going to continue to change, and if you have the opportunity to shop around, I suggest you do so. Now, the Penguins are on a one-game losing streak. They are 6-4 and four in their past 10 games. And in those games where they were an underdog, there was only one, and they were getting a goal and a half, they're 0-1. Now, the Wild are on a seven-game winning streak. They are 8-2 and two in their past 10 games. And in those games where they were a favorite now to win the game by two, they are 4-5. and five. Now, the Wild are on a one-game winning streak against the Penguins, although the Penguins are 6-4 and four in their past 10 meetings against the Wild. The over 6.5 is a perfect 3-0 and oh in their last three games. The favorite is 5-5 five and five in their past 10 meetings. Two out of the past three games that they've played between each other have been decided by two goals or more, but the last game that they played, which was this year, was decided by one goal in a shootout. So there's that. I'm going to take Minnesota with the money line, the Penguins with the goals, and the over, and the reason why I'm doing so is because they played this year. It was a 5-4 game. So both of these teams obviously have showed that they could score, and I imagine that this will be a close game. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if I'm wrong.